Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, and we're taking a little break from survivaling to uh, check out the new DLC, the Tidal Wave DLC for Gas Station Simulator, which isn't the kind of game that I normally play. But, you know, if you're looking for a little just kick back and relax and have fun running around doing all these little tasks, um, Gas Station Simulator is actually quite fun. I, I've played it through a couple of times that, and then they just released this DLC, so I picked that up. So let's check it out together. Welcome to the Tidal Wave DLC. You'll have to the opportunity to develop a new business on a paradise island. I think that's all the information that we really need at this point. Although, there is, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a new meter there. That's the Chunchumanju Rage meter. So we have to keep the volcano of Chunchumango, Chunchumanju from uh, from blowing its top and we do that by basically completing tasks around the uh, around the gas station so this is our crappy little gas station that we've inherited from somebody but it is pretty here uh, and we have to take this rundown broken down gas station and build it back up again first thing that we have to do is find the generator and turn it on so we'll follow the power lines here out to the generator and light it up. Yay! Chunchumangju. Chunchumanchu. He looks slightly angry. There's our task completed. Next task is to take a gift to Chunchumangu. Chunchumanchu. I keep saying his name wrong. I don't know. Even when I'm saying it right, I'm probably saying it wrong. So, let's follow these little tasks. Uh, yes, so a new refueling opportunity here for us. We're going to be able to refuel boats. That should be fun. Because, you know, that's what I like in a DLC. Uh, more of the same fun gameplay in a new and interesting setting. That is perfect for a DLC, so... Hopefully, this is the perfect DLC as well. Altar. The altar is a place where we make a sacrifice to the powerful Chunchu Manchu by interacting with the cauldron. Okay, good enough. I'm going to let the music play. There are three new audio tracks here, and some of them are better than others, but we'll see. So, a sacrificial gift to offer to Chunchu Manchu. Sacrifice. Yes, we are ready. And you'll notice that we just lowered the rage meter in the upper left-hand corner by 50 points. So, Chunchumanchu is a little less angry now. He started off at 75% rage, now he's at 25%. So, cool. Get that out of the way. All right, now we get down to the business of actually getting this gas station up and running. And our first task is to clean it up a bit. And we can do that by getting them some of this stuff out of here. Now, we'll, we'll take the, that all over and dump it in the in the dumpster bin in a minute. Ah, now, here's an interesting little mechanic. Chunchu Manchu is uh, eco-friendly, looking out for the inhabitants of the island. If you notice in the upper left-hand corner, the Chunchu Manchu rage meter does go down by one for every fish here that I throw in the water. And... If you throw garbage in the meter, it goes up by 10. Do not pollute the ocean. So we won't do any more of that. But we will throw out these fishies to get to get back the 10 points we just wasted. 10 points of rage we just generated by throwing garbage in there. Oh, that's not a fish. Uh, we'll throw that in the garbage bin in a minute. But for now, let's just get rid of all these fishies. And in the process, lower Chunchumanchu's rage. Obviously, we don't have the gas station up and running yet. Just bear with me as we take care of these little silly little tasks to keep Chunchumanchu happy. It does look nice. It does sound nice. It's all good. All right. So uh, it wants us to clean up one more bit from and the task is completed and i missed the bin with that okay new task is to build the warehouse uh, before we get building let's just make sure we got all of the fishies here even though we've completed that task let's get them all back into water where they belong nice little splash there 
And then let's, again, we, we're going to have to clean this stuff up eventually. We don't, you know, earn anything by cleaning it up. But, you know, we can't open the gas station until this stuff is all cleaned up. I mean, theoretically, we could. You know, we could just run a gas station looking crappy like this with all these barrels in front of it and stuff. But we don't want to do that. So let's get... Yes, I could be throwing this stuff from far away and trying to get it to land in the garbage bin, but I'm bad at that. <gasps> Look, I got it on the first try! So apparently when I said I'm bad at it, I lied, but it didn't actually stay in there, did it? And then later on, we can, you know, call the, the garbage collection service and get them to, to empty this out when it gets too full. But just... Whoa! Okay, then. That's never happened to me before, but we just went on a little flying trip there. That was fun. Uh, I'll save all this cleanup for later. Um, but in the meantime, let's go here and go to the tools before we upgrade and open the warehouse. Let's get the broom for 50 bucks and the trash bag for 50 bucks. We started with uh, 2,000 bucks. Yeah. So now we've got a couple of tools to help this uh, cleanup go a little bit better. Now we can go to upgrades and get the warehouse opened up. That's a good looking warehouse. And Chuchumanchu is happy. Chunchumachu is now, what, 14, 15, 16 points less rage filled than he was? I don't, I don't know exactly how much that lowered it by, but okay. Uh, now we need to order some fuel. And the, the the task there says order 1,001 of fuel. I think, that's, I think that's a glitch. I don't think it's supposed to say 1,001. Anyway, we're going to order up a fuel delivery here. We only have 200 liters available to us in the fuel storage at this point. So we will order all 200 liters. And, and then in, while we're waiting for that to get delivered, let's clean up this place a little bit. Got lots of schmutz on the ground. Let's get rid of the schmutz. And as you can see, the Chinchimanchu's rage meter is ticking up. It just goes up gradually over time. But there are a variety of different ways that you can lower it again. It's really not that big a deal. Let's pull up our garbage bag. Clean up this little garbage that's lying here. Any more pick upable garbage? No, everything else is going to have to be picked up by hand. I will probably going to start seeing... Yep, okay, so there's the fuel... To, no, don't bump out the other side. Did it go out the other side? It did. There's the fuel boat coming to make a delivery. Let's head out to the warehouse and beat him. Whoa! No, no, don't fall in the water. I just fell in the water. Which is fine. It's not like you drown or anything. Okay, fuel is here. It looks like our warehouse is a mess. We're going to have to get this cleaned up as well. But, as you can see, lots of fishies here to keep Chunchumanchu happy. All right, the fuel delivery is ready for us to turn the valve, open the valve, and get that fuel a pump in. In the meantime, as we wait for that to pump, let's put some of these fishies back. You like that, Chunchumacho? You like the fishies? They taste good. No, we're not. He's not eating them. They're swimming off. Free, be free, Chunchu fishies. Okay. Uh, we can finish up the rest of this cleanup later. Uh, actually, some of this is pretty bad. Yeah, that's that's all really ugly. Now, this natural stuff you can throw in the ocean and not make Chunchumanchu ha un unhappy. That's, you know, natural garbage. He's fine with that. This is coral, I guess, you know, algae whatever, the sea cucumbers, whatever those are. All right, we have another task, which is to clean the warehouse, which is what I've basically been doing. And now the task is completed. And we have a new task, which is to open the gas station for customers. Oh, goodness. I don't know if we're quite ready for that yet. Um, let's head back out there. Those fish will not die. They will just sit there flapping and wriggling until we decide to throw them back in the water or put them in the garbage bag. 
Uh, we have four new emails waiting for us. Let's just get these out of the way so that we can... Uh, so there's something about deliveries, if you're new to this, something about Chunchumanchu and the volcano, the altar again, and welcome to Tidal Wave. So now we don't have to see that flashing indicator anymore. All right, and it wants us to open the gas station for customers. We can do that either by heading all the way out to the sign out there and flipping the on switch, or we can do it right here at the computer. So that's what we're going to do in just a second. Just get a couple more of these things cleaned up if I can. And go to management screen and open the gas station. Task has been completed. Now wait until a customer arrives and refuel his boat. So apparently our boat refueling is now available to us. And while we wait for the customer to arrive, I do not see him on the horizon yet. Let's head back out and do a little bit more picking up out here. I, I just want this stuff out of the way so it's not tripping me every time I walk into the warehouse because we're going to be in and out of here a lot. Plus, it gives us more fishies to give back to Chunchu Manchu. And I think I hear a boat coming. Nope, not yet. Soon, though. Soon. There's the boat coming. Let's head out to the refueling station. So each of the little workman's tasks that you have to do in this game, if you've never played it before, they're, they're little mini games. Um, this is the same mini game for fueling that we had in cars in the original one, except for the added twist that you have to find the refueling spot. And when these guys are bouncing up and down on the waves, it can be a little tricky. So it's a little bit trickier, but not much. just want to stop that right in the the dotted line um, to get that done okay and now it wants us to buy a parking lot uh, again we're not quite ready to share our crappy little endeavor with the world quite yet well there's a fish that i hadn't seen before and i don't want to lose track of him let's get him back where he belongs sploosh Mm, garbage can. Customers will use that garbage can when they come in to buy stuff. Oops. And then you have to empty it before it gets full or they get unhappy. Ugh, this place is a mess. Hold on. A couple, couple more, just three more bits and bobs to get out of the way here before we really get this thing started. Stay. Oh, we got another fuel customer coming in. Let's take care of that right away. You know, fuel in the gas station business, this is your bread and butter. Um, when you open a garage, that's really, when you start repairing cars, that's really where the money comes from. But the, the gas gasoline provides a steady flow of good income until you get the garage up and coming, up and, up and running. All right, last little bit of detrius to up oh, one more, okay. and then that is full. So before we actually buy the parking lot, we're going to call the garbage collection man in their services, garbage collection, and that costs nothing for him to empty those bins. So good. And now we can go to features, other and buy ourselves a parking lot. First parking lot is free. Give people a place to park their crappy little cars so that they can buy stuff from us. Our next um, thing to do is to fuel five boats and um, serve five shop customers. Now, we don't actually have anything to sell in the shop right now. So first thing we need to do is buy some shelves. Let's buy a big soft drink stand because we can afford it and a big food stand because we can afford it. And then let's go to delivery of products. Boat delivery deliveries are now arriving on water, yada, yada. Soft drinks, let's order one of each batch of soft drinks. And you're not just getting one, you're getting you know 25 of this, 35 of that, 30 of that. 
All right, and this is probably all the room. Yeah, this is going to take up all the room we have in the warehouse right now. 182 of 200 space. So we'll go ahead and order that. And normally I would like to order the snacks and the um, snacks and drinks at the same time, but we can't. Uh, somebody's waiting at boat fueling. We want to take care of these as soon as they arrive. Um, customers won't line up for gas. But, you know, the, the countdown to the next customer arriving kicks off as soon as you get rid of this customer. So the sooner we get rid of them, the sooner the next customer will be arriving. And you get a nice little tip if you do it perfectly, which I did that time. Um, and those tips can really make a big difference uh, at the beginning of the game. There's the garbage collection man. He's come and emptied our bin. Um, and we're just waiting for the delivery of goods. We've got someone in the shop, but we don't have anything to actually buy yet. So here comes the goods delivery. This is These are our soft drinks coming in. I'm going to leave these fishes lying around here as emergency chunchumanchu calming opportunities. Grab the boxes, put them on the shelves. Grab the boxes, put them on the shelves, and we're done. And Chuchumanchu's rage is nice and low. It's at eight. We've got lots of rage, and our shop is clean, so that's good too. Now we're going to open our backpack, go to the shelves, go to the soft drinks stand. Actually, before I do that, it would make more sense to order the snacks before I do that because that's going to take time for them to arrive. So snacks. We'll get one of each batch here and order that. That will take... A, ah, that's too much. Okay, we can't order all of that. That's taking up too much. Oh, you know why? Because we still have the soft drinks in there. So makes more sense to put the shelves down first. Uh, hit R to make it snap to grid. And then R again if you want to really snug it in nice and tight there. Okay, and then we'll place, uh, let's place 10 of these, 10 of these. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, I did that wrong. You want to mix up um, the, the bottles and the colors that you're putting next to each other. Customers like it when stuff is kind of, <coughs> it, it looks nice on the shelves, and that is done by mixing things up. So you have cans and bottles all mixed together. Our first actual customer. Here's another little mini game. Clean off that belt a little. And you just want to keep the belt moving with left shift and scan and drop those in as quickly as possible without dropping any. And we made a little bit of money there. So now we have, is this completely full? No, let's make sure this is completely full. All right, so we've got all of the soft drinks that we can put on the shelves there. Now we should be able to order some um, snacks. We still have some soft drinks in the warehouse, so let's just check our cart. See, we're already over capacity in the warehouse. Um, I guess we're not getting any ballies, ballies, whatever. But that at least gives us something to start with, some snacks. Uh, somebody's waiting for us at boat fueling. Let's get out there, fuel them up. Hello, jet skier in a wetsuit. Just as I wanted. Yeah, 61 bucks. I'll take it. With a nice fat tip on top. Well, 61 includes the tip. But anyway. Okay, um, with the impending arrival of our snacks, let's get our food stand down. R to make it snap. And then R again to snug it in tight. That looks good. Okay, good. Hello, customer. Are you ready to check out? What can I help you with today? Uh, let's make sure we get keep that belt nice and clean. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, not making a huge profit on the retail sales. 
not until later on when you start selling more expensive stuff like board games and hats. You're welcome. You're really kind of fugly, aren't you? I, I, I'm not trying to be mean to my customers. I would move this, but you can't move these until later. Our snack delivery has arrived. Let's get that done. And then we have someone waiting for us to fuel the boat. Later on, we'll be able to put down a second boat fueling station here and hire employees to help us out with all this stuff, but not yet. That'll do. 41 bucks in my pocket. Someone waiting at the cash register. What can I help you with, ma'am? Is there anything else I can get you today? Did you find everything you were looking for? Great. Whoops. If you liked my customer service, please, uh, there's a survey on the back of the receipt. You go ahead and fill that out and send it in, and you might be qualified for a gift card. Oh, but somebody made a mess. Just clean that up. Any more messes to clean up? No. Our snacks are here. Let's get the snacks on the shelves. So that's 10 of those, all of those, 10 of those, all of those. There's room for all this stuff. I just, again, you want to mix it up so it looks pretty on the shelf. Different colors, different uh, sizes, different shapes of goodies. And it looks like people are clearing out these beverages pretty quickly, too. So let's replace those. All right, good. Um, now, while we wait for more customers to arrive, let's just get some more cleanup done out here. We'll get that. And this. Should we try? Yeah, baby! I can't believe I said I was so bad at this, which I always am, and then I hit my first two shots. Well, and missed the third. Missed. Overshot. Hello, Mr. Policeman. What can I help you with? Somebody waiting for their boat to be fueled. Let's get them first. All of the stuff that you had in the first game, um, fuel pumps outside, a car wash, the garage to repair cars, all that stuff is in this. The boat fueling is just an addition. And instead of the party bus from the first one, you now get a party boat if you want it. The party boat is optional. You can either build the dock or not. And then even if you build the dock because it looks cool, um, you can still switch it off in options. The party boat just delivers a huge group of people that are going to buy all your stuff and make a huge mess. And, you know, it's a good way to, to make money, but it does create extra work. Ah, too much, too much. Don't go in the water. Don't anger Chunchamanchu. Good. In our one, our one lonely parking lot out there. Let's see if we've unlocked more tools to buy because I would like to have some lock picks to start working on those. Uh, nope, not yet. Not, not unlocked yet. Got a boat waiting for us. And this will be the last boat for the challenge, which is required five boats to be filled and five shop customers. Task completed. Uh, we have a new one, which is to buy a car fuel dispenser. Before we can buy our first car fuel dispenser, we need to upgrade our warehouse, our, our gas station to level two, which is going to cost a hundred bucks, no problem. But it opens up toilets, shelves, decorations, scuba diving, additional fuel dispenser, and an employee trailer. Which means we can hire our first employee. I don't think we're quite ready to do that yet. We want to be banking some profits here. Chinchimanchu, happy. I'll skip that next time. Sorry. Just let you. Oh, and our station is a little bit bigger, which has moved this out away from the wall. So let's put it back where it was. That 
looks good. And 10, 10, 10, 10, all, 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 all. I should have done it all right from the start, but I didn't. Okay, so that is open, now, um, upgraded now. And next we can go to, not this, that upgrades our warehouse. This opens up our toilets. This opens up the scuba diving rent equipment rental shop. Uh, but before that, let's get these customers taken care of. Yeah, that was great. I got a tip. Thank you very much, ma'am. Please complete our, the survey on the back of the receipt. Do you need to purchase a bag for these items, sir? Whoa! Shoot. Well, <laughs> I messed up. He got angry at me. He got that lemonade for free because I accidentally threw it across the room instead of ringing it up. Yeah, perfect. I got a $4 tip. Nice. Chuchumachu's rage is climbing. But let's go and get our... We're going to features, other, um, right arrow from the parking lot. Now we can buy our first fuel dispenser for 250 bucks. Now we'll be getting cars as well as boats. Can I help you, sir? As I mentioned, you know, you you are able to hire employees to, to take care of these menial tasks for you eventually. But, um, you know, we want to be, we can handle all this stuff for now. When we open the garage, which is over here and it's a wreck, or the workshop, uh, that, that's when you I really like to hire my first employee because the, the tasks that you do out in the workshop are very interesting and I, I like doing them but they're very time consuming so uh, versus for employees who can do it you know like that so I like to put an employee at the workshop when I can here comes a boat for refueling yeah we don't need to be paying somebody a salary right now we want to be banking all the money from this stuff and we've got a customer at the fuel pumps out front again same mini game that you saw with the boats although you don't have to search quite as hard for the fueling spot Super. thank you fuel status is low remember we only have 200 liters available in the warehouse right now so we do want to get the warehouse upgraded at some point uh, which we can do now how much is it going to cost 250 i think we're going to do that all right, so this will give us, you know, more space to, to store stuff like snacks and drinks and so on. But it will also give us more fuel storage. So let's get that fuel delivery going. Deliveries, fuel supply. Now we can get 400 liters of fuel. Uh, that's good. This is going to be expensive. This is going to use up half of our money, but we'll get the money back when we sell the fuel. Okay, uh, what now then? What was I doing? Uh, boats, fueled, cars, fueled, scuba equipment rental. So we want to get the scuba shop set up and we want to get the toilet opened. So let's go back to upgrades. Uh, we don't, we can't afford it now. We're too poor. We have, we have $25 <laughs> and our trash is full. Oh, that is a bad thing. Yeah, customers will not come in if that trash by the door is full. So we've got to get that cleaned up ASAP. Fuel up, Mr. Policeman. Perfect. And then there's a boat waiting for us, too. Though we are running really low on fuel. Here comes the fuel delivery boat. Hopefully we have enough fuel to get this boat done. We have 29 liters of fuel. You can see at the very bottom, gas station fuel amount. 29 and a half liters. Hopefully he doesn't want more than that. Nope, he doesn't. Good. Now we can go back to the warehouse and take on some fuel. Glug, glug, glug. All 
right, the fuel is being delivered. We do not have enough money still to open any of the new things, I don't think. We have 144 bucks. Is that enough for any of these? Oh, it is for the toilet, which is passive income. Uh, people pay to use the toilet. And it keeps Chuchumanchu very happy. You see, his rage is at zero. That's good. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to my gas station. And a boat is arriving. Ah, I can't wait to be able to get rid of that. I have to, I have to buy a tool that will enable me to move the, um, the garbage cans and the checkout counter. We need to have a pneumatic hammer for that. We got plenty of fuel now. We need to bank some more profits before we can buy our scuba equipment rental spot. Let's just replace some of this stuff. Yeah, not big profits on the drinks and snacks. Good job. Thank you. Super. Perfect. You want to go see our new toilets? Flush the toilet when leaving. Do your best and flush the rest. Uh, so later on, we'll be able to open all the rest of these stalls and we'll be making good money off the toilets. But not right now. Yeah, once you get that, um, the $100 that you paid to get the toilet open in the first place, once that's paid off, the rest is pure gravy. And it's passive income. You don't have to do anything to get it. Let's just make sure our shop stays nice and neat. Tidy. Good. And then later on, we may there may actually be more stuff for us to buy now. Yeah, okay, so we can buy a paint roller and a pick lock. A lock pick. And a cannon for scaring off the shark. But we don't have the money for any of that stuff right now. Because we want to get the scuba shop open as quickly, as soon as possible. Which, remind me how much is that going to cost? 250 Alright, so we're at 172 right now. We've got a little bit more money to make before we can get the scuba shop scuba rentals up and running so let's just keep doing our little tasks here i turned the people's voices down because i was getting annoyed by them um but it, you know i'm sorry if that makes it hard for you to hear them they're not saying anything you know super interesting or insightful they're just praising me when I do well and chiding me when I do bad. Alright, hang on, let me check. Alright, we still got 300 liters of fuel, so we're not looking at restocking our fuel anytime soon. There are some snacks that we weren't able to purchase because we didn't have room in the warehouse. Um, so maybe I should buy some more of those. But I'd rather do it all at once when we need to order stuff. Instead of you know doing a bunch of little orders, I'd rather do one big order. Let's tidy up. Continue tidying as we wait for people to come and buy our stuff. Sounds like a boat has arrived. Yeah, that was great for 11 bucks. Let's go get the next boat. Oh, he left a dirty shoe print over by the snacks. We're going to have to clean that up. Thank you. He said top the line job. Yeah, you make a lot more money on the fuel than you do on the retail stuff. Good. Thank you for coming, sir. Please come again. 
Everything else is pretty neat and tidy. Okay, let's get outside and get some of this crap out of here. I would like it if Chunchumanchu was eco-friendly in that you would get, you know, you would lower his rage by cleaning up the crap off the beach here. But that is not how it works. Would you put some clothes on, please, sir? He looks dangerous. No shirt, no shoes, no service, sir. You're going to have to put on a shirt if you want service. That boater seemed very unconcerned about the amount of water in his boat. It looked like he was about to sink there. But he made it through. Chunchu Manchu seems very quiet and peaceful. Isn't that good? That's good. Should we give this a shot? Too far, too far. Yeah. See, that's why I really don't like throwing it because I do not want any of these to go in the water and make Chunchu Manchu unhappy. Uh, I don't even know where it went. There it is. And don't worry, all this garbage will be cleaned up eventually when we start opening new stuff. Like showers. And a car wash. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of taking a... Uh unwanted break from survival games right now just because I haven't seen any that interest me. It's been a while since I've seen a, a good new survival game because you know that the, the survival that I like is you versus Mother Nature. You know, not you versus zombies or robots or mutated insects or whatever. Just the long dark, green hell, that kind of basic survival. Also, survival fountain of the fit... Ooh. Fountain of Youth um, is almost done. I think they're 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 days away from the 1.0 release of the game, the finished product. It's been in early access for what two three years now, and I really like that game. But I'm not playing it right now because I'm waiting for the final release, which is soon. Thank you. Are we looking dirty in here? Let's see. Uh, a little bit. We are at $500, which means we can open the scuba shop now. I haven't been paying attention to the money. Sorry about that. I've just been having fun doing my little tasks. Being a good worker. All right, let's get the scuba shop open. Upgrades. Scuba diving. Uh, scuba diving level one allows you to rent scuba diving rental equipment. Er, equipment. Yeah, there it is. So, with scuba diving... Yeah, that made Chinchimonchu happy. With scuba diving, you set the level of um, wear that is acceptable for the scuba diving equipment. So you can set it everywhere from, you know, go, go ahead and send somebody out with shit that's with stuff that's in, in you know, 25% condition or make it so that stuff is retired when it's at 90% condition, which will save a lot of lives, but is very expensive. And I'll show you something to do with that in just a minute. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too, sir. So over here is our death tally board. Now we're not actually renting anything yet, but your customers were safe for zero days, longest streak seven days, that's my streak. And um, death count zero, because we're not actually renting any equipment yet. We have to buy the equipment and then stock the scuba rental place with the equipment and then set how much wear we're going to allow. So let's do that. Um, we need to get some more stuff for the so delivery products. Um, we need to get some more snacks. Uh, what did we skip? We skipped the valleys in stock zero. Uh, we don't have any popcorn in stock. 
either. We must have skipped that. And everything else we've got a little bit in stock. So let's save room for the scuba diving equipment. Now this stuff is pretty expensive, but we're going to go through it relatively quickly. So I'm going to get a bunch uh, if we can afford it. Let's check our cart. That's $354. Uh, we have $432, so we can just barely afford that. Hello, ma'am. Sorry for the wait. Let's get you out of here. Do you need a bag for this, ma'am, or did you bring one? Good. Glad. Oh, car. Dirty track. Any more dirties? Nope. Boat fueling. Let's get the boats fueled. All right, we need to fuel one more boat, two more cars, serve one more shop customer before we can move on to the next task. But it's going to be the scuba gear that slows us down because I waited so long to order that because I wasn't looking at my money. Come on in, ma'am. All right, let's keep an eye out here. Make sure we meet this delivery boat as soon as it arrives. Yes, I know the warehouse is a horrible mess. We'll clean it up someday. Thank you. All right, good to go. Yeah, see, these, these three new musical tracks get old pretty quickly. <laughs> I'm ready to turn them off already. Scubing and surfing. Yes, I know how this works. So we're going to put the equipment in here. We can only store four on here right now. Later on, we can upgrade it to store more. And we're going to set the threshold to... We'll retire this stuff at 65% durability. That should keep some people alive. But that is going to cost us lives. Until we until we get it up around 85, 90%, people are going to be dying out in the water. Which makes Chunchu Manchu very unhappy. Thank you. Uh, should we get her before we go fuel the boat? Okay. Yeah, that was quick. Get out of my way, gas trash can. We can't afford the tool that it's going to take to move that stuff. I don't think it's unlocked yet, anyway. Great. Let's head to the computer and get those new that new email notification off the screen. Okay, a shark will come. Um, shark's been prowling the area for years. Uh, we can use the cannon to scare it off. We can't afford the cannon right now. It's 500 bucks. But we do need to get that a sap. Uh, it looks like we are renting scuba equipment. We've rented two already. Yes, ma'am, can I interest you in a little scuba diving today? Can I see your certification, please? No? Okay. Scuba diving. That's snorkeling, for one thing. Not scuba diving. That's scuba diving. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry for the wait. The, the wait time doesn't actually matter at all. They'll wait forever, basically. Without getting angry or, or giving you less money. We'll just wait there patiently for you to show up whenever you feel like it. Hello, sir. Floor up. Okay, you got it. Enjoy your day. looking good it looks pretty clean in here I'm not seeing any shoot tracks any mud to clean up uh, we don't have the lock picks yet lock picks would we could come out here and pick the trunks open and get stuff out of them either money or decorative items for the shop that kind of thing looks like we could use a little restock on some of this stuff There we go. 
Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, do you have a frequent buyer's card? No? Would you like to apply for one? Uh, maybe next time. Next time you come in, we'll get you one. Da -da 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 and here goes a jet ski for us. Um, we are down to 100 liters of fuel. We should think about another fuel order here, especially because now I've got a customer at the fuel pump. So let's see how much fuel he's going to take in this massive van. Oh, that's a good amount of fuel. We should probably order some more fuel. We have 664 bucks in the bank. That is enough for the shark cannon, but we need to order fuel first. Don't want to run out of fuel. That is our bread and butter. That's where we make our money. Deliveries, fuel supply. Uh, we'll get 400 or as close to 400 as we can get. Um, and we now have more snacks to place here. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Whoops. No, I don't, I don't want that. Yeah, nice. Nice. Okay. Um, we are at... We are at um, gas station number... Uh, level two now. I think. Or well, warehouse number two. Which means we should be able to buy some more shelves and stock some more stuff in the shop. But again, you know, this is this is how we have to be, we have to balance our money because now we're back down to 170 bucks, and we do want to save up for the for the shark cannon and other good stuff that we have to buy. Fuel status is low, but that's all right because we have already ordered our next fuel delivery. And I'm, I'm, I have I have let the Chuchumanchu rage meter reach 100 just to see what happens, so I know what happens. But I, I'm, I'm not gonna it's I'm not gonna spoiler it. If you want to see it, it's very easy to start a new game and see it for yourself if you want. And I'm not gonna waste any of these fish right now either because our Chuchumanchu's rage is not very high. We'll leave all those fish flopping around until we absolutely need a little help with Choo Choo Munch. You're welcome. Fuel's being delivered. We've got a customer out front. We could buy a paint roller and start painting this shop up to look nice. But it doesn't actually have any impact on the game itself. It's not like more customers will come if you paint it nicely. So it's just for yourself. You can make it as pretty or as ugly as you want. I'm also not sure what happens if you don't clean the belt every once in a while. We could let it get as dirty as possible and just see what happens if you want. Nice sunset. Very pretty. Yeah, it's nice. I, I, all right, task completed. We've rented all the scuba stuff. Now um, we have another, we have more stuff that we have to do. So added stuff is surfing equipment rental. That's windsurfing and then shower use and cars repaired. So we are going to have to repair the workshop. We're going to have to set up the showers here. We're going to have to set up the surfing rentals. And we have to do that stuff as quickly as possible to keep things moving. But all of that will cost money. And when I screw up the fuel delivery like I just did right there, that's not helping. I double screwed that up because not only did I not get it get a tip i actually gave him more fuel than he asked for which means he got that fuel for free i did it again there a little bit i got a tip that time but i i gave him more than he asked for which is you don't want to do 
because you're just giving that stuff away. Uh, one of our garbage cans is full. Nope. Another way to lower Ch Chumanchu's rage is by buying coconuts, these special coconuts, and throwing them into the altar. But as I said, I'm not any good at the throwing stuff. So, whoops, there's more. All right, something has happened. That's stuck. That'll do. I wonder if that's what happens when it gets dirty, is that stuff doesn't behave the way it's supposed to. Stuff gets stuck. Yeah, let's clean this up. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Nice night. We are we have 500 bucks, which is enough to buy the shark cannon. But I don't think the shark appears until you buy the cannon. So we're just gonna put that off. We have other stuff that we have to do first, like get the windsurfing rental up and run, up and running, and the showers open, and the workshop open. Super. Thanks, bud. Alright, as soon as we get this guy out of here, we might have a little break. We might be able to look at what to buy next, what to upgrade next. Alright, what can we afford here? Upgrades. Gas station 3. So we're going to have to upgrade the gas station. That's 200 bucks right there. And Chuchumanchu is very happy. We managed to calm the volcano. What can we afford with our 500 bucks left? We can um, upgrade the warehouse. We don't really need to get the workshop up and running. See, that's going to take money because we're going to have to not only buy the workshop, but we or open the workshop, but we also have to buy the stuff that goes in it. Surfing is f pretty much free. We're going to have to buy the stuff for that. Uh, shower is passive income. Let's get that first. Great, now people will pay to use those showers. Um, let's see what next. Let's get the surfing going. We're going to have to buy stock for that too, but we can do that. Okay. Let's make a little money here after spending some. Spending all that money. We only have 177 bucks left. And hopefully we have enough money to order some stock for the surfing spot. 30 bucks each. See, we're only going to be able to order a few of these. Two forty, and we've got two forty-one. <laughs> so. And we're down to a dollar twenty <laughs> in our bank account. Yeah, we've all been there, folks. Yep, uh, upgrading the gas station upgrade uh, made it bigger. And we the pneumatic hammer. Let's just check how much that's going to cost. That's five hundred and seventy-five dollars for the pneumatic hammer. That's going to allow us to move that. So we're just going to have to wait on that. Um. Um, 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 customer of Fuel 1. We have an email that we want to read to get that notification off the screen. Thank you. And our delivery boat with the windsurfing stuff should be arriving soon. Let's just read that quickly. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you tonight? You want some cookies and some blinkies and some chips. You're a health food eater, I can see. All right, here comes the delivery boat, but let's get this boat fueled before that happens. I think I started to say, and then I interrupted myself, that, you know, I enjoyed Gas Station Simulator, but I'm not a huge fan of the desert. I know some people love the desert, and it's so beautiful, and the colors, and all that stuff, but... 
I don't know. I like this environment much better than the original gas station simulator. Great. You're welcome. We're up to, we should have about 200 bucks after this. And now we have the stock, a little bit of stock to get the windsurfing rental going. So let's get out here. Yeah, it's all the way over here. Scoob and surfing, yada yada. Add all at box shelf. Add one more because there was one person in line, so they used one immediately. And then let's set the durability threshold again to 65%. We'll, we'll get that up as soon as possible. Um, but let's see, we've probably already lost a customer or two because it's set at 65% um, on the scuba as well. Let's check the death tally board. No, actually we haven't lost any yet. Our customers have been safe for one day. That's good. Uh, somebody at the cash register, somebody at the boat fueling, and we need to look around in here for how dirty it is. I haven't been cleaning. Uh, we'll clean when we get back. Let's get the fuel into boat. I, I said it's mindless fun, and it is. You know, it's not challenging. It's not like you're you're, you're at much risk of your gas station going under. But um, there are decisions to make. You know, you, you are constantly making decisions. What can I afford? What should I do next? What should I do first? What should I do after that, that kind of thing. So, there is gameplay here. Oh yeah, we gotta check our, how dirty are we? Not dirty, one little bit, two little bits of garbage. Our gas, our trash bag got full, so we'll throw this out. And we're gonna have to order another pickup for the, the bin soon too. Pretty much, although I gave you too much money and uh, too much gas and did not get a tip. Where are you going, sir? Oh, you just need here to use the garbage. Okay, fine. Oh, good. At least he's buying something. Uh, there's. Let's get the boat first. The boat's going to be faster than waiting for him to pick out his stuff and bring it up front. Excuse me, sir. Oh. Well, I didn't get a tip that time, but at least I gave him less fuel than he asked for. So, we didn't give him extra fuel that time. We can probably afford to open the workshop now. Again, though, as soon as we open this, we got to buy stuff for it. We got to buy tires and, and scratch remover and stuff, so... 250 and then we'll have 250 left that should get us a few tires and it's at this point also that i would like to think about hiring a worker to help out because as i mentioned before i enjoy doing the stuff in the workshop it's just very time consuming to do myself Keep an eye on our cart. How much can we afford? Oh, see, that's already that's already more than we can afford. Oh my gosh, it's going to be expensive. We'll, we'll start with six wheels, <sighs> a couple of scratch. We we can't afford it yet. We we got to make some more money before we can order stock for the garage. In which case, I should just shut it down so we don't piss off any customers who roll in there and, and want help. So let's go to management, workshop, a repair bench, turn it off. No, not open. Whoa, super. Yeah, thank you. I'm good at that. Not really. Great. 
So we'll do a few more fuelings here. Oh, getting dirty in here. Yeah, we're out of equipment at the scuba rental, but we don't we don't have the money to buy more, especially if we want to get that workshop up and running. Okay, we got 500 bucks now. That should be enough for us to either get some supplies for the workshop or replenish the scuba rental. Uh, I think we should get the workshop up and running. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can afford doing that. Delivery, parts, tires. Let's open the cart, keep track of how much money we're spending here. We've got exactly 500 bucks, well, 503 bucks. So let's get eight of those, four of these, and four of these. Oh, we can't quite afford four of them. We can afford three. Now, well, if we go down to go down by one car wheel, we can then get one mirror. Okay. Oh, what happened to my mirrors? Oh, what happened? I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Oh, we can't afford that. Okay. Alright, now we got some parts for the shop coming. I mean, workshop. Workshop, not shop. And then as soon as we got a little money in the bank, we got to get some more gear for the scuba rental place. Top of the line job, Delivery boat, still quite a ways off, but there's nobody at the till, nobody at the gas station up there. So let's just hang out here and see what happens. I think the delivery boat's going to arrive before we have to go fuel anybody up. So let's head back here. Look at our nice big warehouse. Doesn't that look nice? Chinchubanchu's rage is at 13. Now it's at... Well, it went to 14. Now it's back at 13. Now it's at 12. Okay, now let's go get the workshop open. Oh, trash is full. That is number one priority. Gotta empty that trash or nobody will come in and buy stuff. Not that one. All right, let's go check out our workshop. It's closed right now. That's okay. Ugh, gotta get rid of this garbage. Well, I'll put that in the actual bin in a minute. Let's just get this open. All right, restock our tires, please. That's all the tires that we could afford. Restock our mirrors. And restock our scratch remover. And now we should be open for business. Management repair bench open for business. And we've got almost 200 bucks. We'll have 200 after this fueling pass. And then we can order more scuba equipment. How much do I owe you? Yeah, I like, wor I like working with the boat fueling. It's nice out here. When I have some employees, I'll, I'll set them to do all the other stuff, and then I'll just stay out here and refuel boats. Okay, let's see if we can get some scuba equipment. we got 300 bucks now. Delivery, products, scuba diving. How much can we afford? Quite a bit, actually. Well, let's order some windsurfing, too. That is 360. That's a little bit more than we can afford. Scale that back. 340. 320. 270. Alright. Ah, money's so tight at this. 
Hello, officer. How can I help you today? Fill it up? Great. Nice. And now we gotta go meet the delivery boat. Let's just do a quick cleanliness check here. Looks good. Yep, we look good. And then another thing on the agenda, we can buy more shelves for more stuff to sell in the shop. Different stuff. So we gotta get that done too. It's just a quite the balancing and juggling act here. I, I really I know there's someone at the garage waiting for their car to be fixed, and we're gonna do that in a second, but I, I think it's worth it to wait for this stuff so we can, because the scuba rental is passive. Once you get it stocked with stuff, it's not like you have to do anything. You just collect the money. Should we swim to the scuba place? Yeah. Fill this up. And then go help the person waiting for their car to be fixed. All right, what seems to be the problem, sir? Well, it looks like you got a flat tire on the front for sure. And it looks like you got a scratch on your door. So let's take care of this. And then as soon as we have a little bit of money in the bank, I'm going to hire an employee to do this for me. Like I said, it's it's fun to do. It's just, it takes so long to do these things. Time, I could make more money doing other stuff, you know. Just clean up after ourselves like a good shop workman. That is a beautiful car, by the way, sir. Cadillac. Convertible. Just as I yeah, just as you wanted. Um, you're going to have to wait, sir. i got to fuel up a boat out here. Gas is my priority. Gas is my life. Great job. Yeah, great job. Thank you. And we did open the showers, right? So, yeah, so, okay. In fact, we've reached the goal of having four people showered. Oh, no, ah, I blew it. So she gets those cookies for free. And I do not get a tip. And she's gonna yell at me when we're done. Ma'am, this is a lot of junk food, ma'am. Am I trying to scam you? No, ma'am, it was a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm human. I make mistakes just like you. Oh, oh gosh, darn it, I did it again. I shouldn't have said anything. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, we got a customer at the garage. All right, well, you know what? I think you get the idea. And it's not like there's a ton to see and do here, um, unless you enjoy doing the things that there are to do. We're just going to be fueling stuff and repairing cars and checking people out at the grocery and building up our shop and keeping it clean and washing cars eventually and stuff like that. So let's go repair one more car. Oh, and our fuel status is low. We're going to have to order more fuel. We'll repair this one last car, and then we're going to call it a day. This, this tire is having problems. Come on, tire. And what else we need? We need to replace a mirror, and there's another tire out on the other side. Pick up the tire. Now we'll just 
just get your rear view mirror repaired and you'll be on your way, sir. Doink. Oh, nope, there's something else. Oh, he's got a scrap. Oh, another flat tire. What did you do to your tires, sir? Were you off-roading? Were you running from the cops? Shoot, we got full trash in the shop. That's bad. See, this is what I'm talking about with how much time it takes to do this. Repairing three wheels and a mirror and a scratch on the door. I, I could have, you know, fueled four cars by now. So we'll hire somebody to get this stuff done for us. As soon as I have some money, which I do now. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you, sir. Hope you enjoyed our service. Uh, let's get this full trash can emptied. I gotta clean up the uh, the garb the trash bags I left out by the workshop too. Ooh, he wants a lot of fuel. Good money. All right, uh, fuel status is low. I gotta order some more, but let's get her out of here first. Delivery, fuel supply, let's get 400 again. We got the money for it. And, and as the sun sets, this looks like a great place to call it an episode. First episode of Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave DLC. We probably won't do another one. I mean, it's you, you've basically seen what it's about if, you, if you've never heard this game before. There it is. And you know, keeping Chunchu Machu... Happy and fueling boats are what's been added. Also the scuba shop and the windsurfing shop and the shark cannon. Should we, uh, we don't quite have enough money to show you how the shark cannon works. So maybe we'll have one more episode just so you can see how the shark cannon works and maybe some other stuff that will come later. Just a last little sweep here. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. There'll be more coming. Stay safe, survivors.